In this video, we're going to explore using a pen tablet with a desktop version of OneNote. First, I'm going to explain why I use this solution. Second, I'm going to share an overview of how I use the pen tablet to take notes. Third, I'm going to explain why I'm using the OneNote 2016 version with the pen tablet rather than the Windows 10 version. And lastly, I'll show you how I set up my pen tablet to seamlessly switch back and forth between the different drawing tools and commands. OneNote is great in that we can use virtually any digital device to interact with it. As versatile and accessible OneNote is, the device that we choose heavily influences how we use the application. For example, when I use OneNote on my desktop, I naturally type my notes. So my notes will be in a linear structure, top to bottom with bullets, number lists, and sometimes tables. Also, when I take notes on my desktop, I'm more likely to bring in external content to the note page a snippet from a web page, a screen grab from a Teams meeting, and an insert of a file printout, because all these are very simple to do. However, when I use an iPad, I mostly handwrite my notes. And when I write, I tend to use the full canvas in a mind map-like style, where I plot down key ideas spread across the canvas and expand out radially, making connections. And although I can add external content to a note page using an iPad, it's a little more cumbersome and I tend to avoid it. For me, the perfect platform is a blend of the two. I like to type rather than handwrite my notes, but prefer the creative freedom to jump around on the canvas and be able to draw diagrams. I like that it's easy to add external content to OneNote desktop, but want the natural feeling of using a pen to mark up or make annotations on them. For me, the pen tablet provides the best of the two platforms. By unlocking the entire drawing tab, it helps bring in some of iPad's useful feature to the desktop. I want to set the right expectations from the get-go. I do not use the pen tablet to handwrite my notes. This isn't an iPad or a Surface tablet. I think most of these pen tablets are designed for a creative purpose, like drawing. It's not easy to write with them. For practical use, I limit my handwriting to keywords and short phrases. Writing full-on sentences and paragraphs will not be easy on a pen tablet. So how do I use a pen tablet then? First is for annotations and markup. Increasingly, whether for meetings or for research, I find myself bringing a lot of external contents into my note page. This could be a screen capture from a Teams meeting or a printout from a document. These external contents provide useful context, and along with few simple annotations, they can replace a whole lot of text and simplify my note taking. The second is for using the writing canvas freely. Using a mind map structure rather than linear structure helps me think more critically about the topics that I'm writing about, and it helps me connect the dots between different ideas and generate new ones. Here, I find it helpful to add a grid line so that we can maintain some structure and consistency in distance and scale. In both of these use cases, we can of course use our mouse, but using a pen feels much more natural. And I hope that you notice that when switching between the different tools and commands, we did not have to go to the drawing tab to make the selections. We're able to switch seamlessly between the different tools using the shortcuts we'll assign to the pen tablet in the next section. And that's a great segue into why I prefer to use the 2016 version of OneNote versus the Windows 10 version. Although I think the drawing tools are superior in the Windows 10 version, there is no way to get to them using shortcuts. And this point is critical for setting up a pen tablet. Without being able to map the pen tablet to specific drawing tools, we'd have to keep going to the ribbon to choose a tool which can break up the workflow. The second reason is that Windows 10 version is lacking the pan tool, which is also key if we don't want to use a scroll bar to move through the canvas. So the setup part will be different depending on the tablet, make, and model that you're using. I'm using an older Wacom tablet. It's Wacom Intuos Pro small tablet. However, the general ideas will apply to all tablets, so don't skip this section. So this setup involves assigning functions or commands to the different buttons and keys in the pen tablet. My pen has two buttons and my tablet has six express keys we can assign. So that's a total of eight commands we can assign. My personal setup is as follows.
Also, the touch ring has been set up to zoom in and out of the note page. To assign a command to each of these keys and buttons, we need to know the keystrokes to get to the command. This is where the keyboard shortcut comes in. When we hit the Alt key, we can see the keyboard shortcut for each of the tabs in the ribbon. Let's hit D for the drawing tool. We can then see the shortcut key for the commands. So for example, if you want to get to the Type tool, the shortcut would be Alt D T. For Lasso, it would be Alt D L and so on. Let's set these up. Open up the Wacom tablet properties. The first thing you should note here is the custom settings we apply, we want it to apply to OneNote only and not any other application. So how we ensure that is within the application pane, click on the plus sign and you see the list of applications that you have in your computer. Navigate down to OneNote, select it and hit OK. Since I have mine added already, I'm going to cancel out of this. And we're going to start with the function keys first. As I mentioned earlier, there are six express keys that we can customize. So starting with the top, the first express key, we're going to select the list. Make sure you have keyboard selected, then choose keystroke. And again, we're just adding the shortcut. And so let me actually clear this so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to hit Alt D. Okay, so remember that's triggering the drawing tab in the ribbon. And then for text, I'm just adding the letter T. Okay, so whenever I press on that first express key, it's going to trigger Alt, D, and then T. And you can name this. I already named it type, so I'm going to hit OK. And we do the same for the second express key. I have it set to pan. So drop down, keyboard, keystroke. Alt D is going to bring up the drawing tab and then H for hand pan. Okay. Um, hit OK. The last one is the lasso keyboard keystroke Alt D L for lasso. Going down to the bottom three, this, these are a little different. Uh, I have them set to undo, redo, and keystroke uh, for delete. So undo, you go to keyboard and you can it, you can select it right from the list. You don't have to go to keystrokes. Same thing for redo. And then for delete, you do have to go to keystroke. And again, I'm going to clear this. If you hit the backspace key, sorry, let me actually clear that. Hit the delete key and then hit OK. The issue arises when we get to the pen selection. We can use the shortcut Alt-D-P to get to the pen tool, but we'd still need to pick one from the list. So the way to get around this is to add the favorite pen or highlighter to the shortcut. Click anywhere in the ribbon and select customize the ribbon. Make sure the draw tab is selected in the right pane here and create a new group. I'm going to label it pen. Then select any of the four highlighters and any of the eight pens and add them to the custom tab that we just created. The pen and highlighter numbers correspond to the position showing in the pen pane. So favorite pen one would be black in 0.35 millimeter, pen two would be red in 35 millimeter, so on and so forth. The same for the highlighters apply. Once they're added, we see them on this new pen tab that we created. And if we hit Alt to show the shortcut keys, now we see that the shortcut keys have been assigned. Now we can go back to the Wacom tablet properties to assign the favorite pen and highlighter to the two buttons on the pen. Make sure OneNote application is selected. Make sure Grip Pen is selected. So the first button, I want to assign it to my favorite pen. Click on it, keyboard, keystroke. And same as before, we're going to hit Alt D, which is going to bring us to the draw tab. And then the shortcut key is Y1 for the pen. Hit OK. And then for the second button, keyboard, keystroke, Alt D and Y2. And we can actually rename this the highlighter. 
hit OK. And we can close it out. Now let's test it. I have my pen. I'm going to click on the first button. Okay, I can write with it. And then I'm going to click on the second button, turns to a highlighter. So again, so, you know, going back between the pen and the tablet express keys, I can move about, I can go from typing to then using the hand pan tool to move around the canvas. Okay. I can zoom in and out and then I can even use the lasso to move elements around in the page, go back to writing, go back to highlighting. So it's super simple and intuitive to do without having to go back and selecting each of this command. If the pen or highlighter we want to add to shortcut is not showing in the first eighth or fourth position, we can click on more option, add the pen to favorite, then move it up in the rank. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you have any helpful tips on using a pen tablet with OneNote, please share them in the comments below. Thanks and bye for now.